Internet rabbit holes. Um, our thoughts. Yeah, so YouTube rabbit holes when I watch a video about a topic that I love or I value. And the next video will be about that topic. And then the next recommend is about that topic and about that topic. Next video. Okay, my mom walked in, so I have to leave soon. We're just going to consider the last video I did a test run for this video because I filmed it with the wrong camera. But what I was talking about was rabbit holes. Rabbit holes are this little fun thing about the internet where you look something up. For example, I went from group mythology as a little tangent of my assignment to researching conspiracy theories about the moon landing. Yeah, but and then two and a half hours later, there you are. Trying to figure out if Neil Armstrong was actually on the moon. Uh, but you'll never actually know because everyone's like, sorry, bouncing a positive way of scrolling and the ra the rabbit hole, not necessarily being a hole of endlessness, but more of a, a tunnel, you know, a way of distress. It's like a tunnel that someone's stuck like that. And you watch the videos, you calm down, you know, you relax and mud in, you come back out and you, you know, distress yourself and you're a bit happier and you go on with your day. I've actually been thinking about this and I think it's sometimes what we need to consider is that it's more about the quality of what we're consuming rather than the amount of time. You need to have intent. Yeah. You need to have intent behind what be you're seeing. Aware of what yes. you're consuming. People be like, oh yeah, I'm going down a rabbit hole, like I'm just I'm just scrolling. But you can have productive scrolling online. You can have really productive, inspiring rabbit hole scrolling um time. <laughs> Personally, it was never a negative thing. Like, it was always a positive thing. I never, heard, I never heard, like, online rabbit hole and thought of something bad. Kind of like a give. It's kind of like something that we should take advantage of, that you can just go on your phone and you can find really cool, inspiring things. You don't have to go out to a museum. You don't have to go and find an artist on the street. You can go on Pinterest or go on Twitter or go on Instagram and... If you have an intention for the time that you spend scrolling, then you can get really cool stuff out of it.